Welcome to another InfraScale training video. Today, we're going to cover how to create a backup policy. So we're covering what is a backup policy, how do you create or modify one, and then how do you assign it to a specific device. To get started, let's get to our dashboard. So I'm logged into the InfraScale dashboard. I go to Manage, and then I go to View and Manage Backup Policies. In the View and Manage Backup Policies, you'll have a list of all the current policies you've created in the past. Let's go ahead and add a new one. So a backup policy is going to determine what is going to be backed up and on what schedule. So we have some advanced options down here at the bottom for exclusions. But for the most part, this is going to mimic the scheduler settings uh, that you have in the scanner backup wizard. So we can have some global settings to say, you know, do not back up files that are older than this date. Maybe we just don't want files that are that old. And that's you know, five years ago. Do not back up files larger than a gig. So maybe we don't want videos or we just don't want things like that of that nature to be backed up. Or don't back up these smaller files. So things like temporary files, uh, shortcuts, that type of thing. You also have the option to send an additional email report. Now this is separate of your monitoring system, so if you wanted to actually have this policy send an email to a specific user, or if you're monitoring this particular deployment, then you could do that. But for the most part, as an admin, I already have my monitoring settings, and that's all I'm concerned about, which we have another video for in our Partner Resource Center. We give it a policy name, and we say, new documents. So we're going to scan all folders and I'm going to say I don't want anything images, I don't want music, I don't want video, and that's it. And we'll just capture the documents. Backup automatically, backup even if the user is not logged in. So if you use this, you'll actually have to specify uh, the credentials for the network you're deploying to. So I'll just say just back up automatically, that's fine. And it's an end user backup, so you can do it every hour, and the, the user won't even notice because it'll happen so quickly. So every hour, uh, or every three hours, that's okay. Then we give some ad advanced options, and we could you know, put in different inclusions or exclusions, so if you want to include specific folders or exclude specific folders, a uh, good folder to exclude is uh, C program files. Nobody needs that backed up. And that's it. So let's just go ahead and save that. And now I have my new new documents policy. So how do I use this policy? Well, the next part is we go to our devices view. And you can filter by particular companies. If you know the company that you're talking about, you can filter to that. Uh, or if you have a particular account in mind. So if I go to OLP Partner Demo. Typo. Then you can select this and hit Manage. And let's see, I want to do this demo machine. So you hit manage, configure backup jobs, set up smart file scanner, and then I use a policy. If I go down to uh, new documents, there it is, hit apply, and now this will be applied to that machine. And now that will be on a regular basis. And that's it. That's how you create a new policy and assign it to a particular backup account and device. For more information, contact support. Until then, thanks and have a good one.